GC Unboxing is back. Rota Twin Power. Oh my word, look at those. Rota Twin Power Power Meter Crank Set. There are loads of different ways and places to measure power on a bike. There's your hub, there are your chain rings, your chain ring spider, your cranks, your crank axle, your bottom bracket, and in fact, your pedals as well. And this rotor twin power actually combines two, the crank axle and the crank. And that combines to give a quite frankly, mind boggling array of data. Should you want it, how does it give you those accurate power measurements? Well, there are eight strain gauges on this crank set. Now that is quite a lot in the world of bicycle power meters. Four of them live here inside the crank axle and they measure the force coming off your left leg. And then the other four are here on your right hand crank. And funnily enough, that measures the power coming off your right leg. As these two legs independently is really important for actually giving a total and accurate power measurement. For now, I want to talk about aluminium because in a world dominated by carbon, aluminium is still a more than valid choice and somehow it manages to feel at times even more exclusive. These ones are machined out of 7055 aluminium in Spain, just outside of Madrid. And all of that CNC machining manages, so I'm told, to get them in at a rather competitive weight. Six hundred and forty-four grams. Now, to put it in some kind of context, Shimano Durace cranks weigh, I'm told, six hundred and thirty-six grams. So that is pretty darn impressive for a power meter. They're made with a hundred and ten millimeter bolt circle diameter, which means that they fit both compact and also standard chain rings. And interestingly, the way these measure power means that they will also give you accurate power measurement using non-round chain rings, which is just as well because Rota have long been advocates. In fact, they make these as well, their Q rings. I'm sure you're wondering by now where the battery is. It too is located inside the crank axle along with those four strain gauges. It's rechargeable and it lasts, so I'm told, 300 hours of riding. And you get access to the charging port just under that little dust cap there. Right then, what about all that other data I was talking about? Well, in addition to those eight strain gauges, there is also an accelerometer in here that will tell the crank its speed of rotation. And this accelerometer will actually allow the crank set to measure power 500 times per second. And then Rotor can use all of that detail to actually break down loads of other data using their own software. So it will tell you your torque effectiveness, which is basically the ratio of positive torque on the downstroke to negative torque on your upstroke. And then it will tell you whereabouts on your pedal stroke you are putting out the maximum amount of power. And then it will actually tell you what the ratio between your average power and your maximum power is per stroke. So giving you an idea of your pedaling smoothness. And then they can put all of that data together and actually tell you which position that you should put their Q rings in. It's currently in beta and that will allow you to see all of this data in real time on your phone using the crank's ability to transmit via Bluetooth as well as usual amp plus. If you've not used non-round rings before, then this would be a cracking opportunity to do so. And even if you have, you've got to admit, they look absolutely brilliant with their cranks. The idea behind non-round rings is that they effectively increase the size of your gear at the points of the pedal stroke where you're exerting the maximum amount of force. And then it also reduces the size of the gear at those points of the pedal stroke where you're exerting less force. And the aim of all of that is to therefore try to make you more efficient on the bike. Because a power meter absolutely revolutionized my training when I first bought one. And I hope it can do the same for you.